everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Thank you for stopping by. Um, today, I think I'm going to do this bag full of Shop Goodwill jewelry that I have here. Oh, it's hard for you to see. That's a little sneak peek into it. What's in it? Um, I haven't opened it, but I did get it, uh, gosh, I want to say like in uh, January or February. I've been buying a few of these before we ever got to uh, make any videos. So I have a few in backup for myself. Um, and I thought I'd take a little uh, break from thread up because um, if you saw my video from yesterday, uh, yeah, I, I got a, a necklace in there that w had bugs in it and it was just so disgusting that I have two more boxes of the 15 pieces from Thread Up, and I really don't want to get into them right now. So, we're going to take a break from that, and we are going to do a Shop Goodwill one tonight. Um, this one I got a great deal, $29.99 plus shipping and handling and everything, so for $42.68 uh, for this box, and um, hopefully we'll find some good stuff in it. It was nice because it looks like it's all individually wrapped up so there's it's not a big mess in here which is awesome you don't find that very often so let's just get into it just gonna open this puppy up and i hope we can get through this whole thing without being too long of a video I my camera's a little bit better today, too, so. Alright, I'm going to just start pulling from the bag. And here we go. Let's start out with some beads. Into these. Alright. This looks like a, ooh. Look at that. Oh. Sorry, I thought it was something else. Oh. Just a lobster class. And looks like I want one, two, three, four, six strands. It's like just a fashion piece. I don't see any markings or anything on it. Any maker's marks, designers. Not real. Just some fashion pearls. Pretty six strands this um, kind of a pinky off-white color. It's a pretty color. I like the color of them. And they're a nice length. If I can get these to lay right here. Alright. Do I have this right? No. Nope. There we go. Okay, that's a little better. I think. So, those are some really pretty pearls. If you like pearl necklaces like this, six strand, um, I would say maybe six dollars if you're interested. If anybody's interested in anything that I have in this box, you can go ahead and just message me for now here on um, YouTube and uh, let me know what you're interested in. I'll put the prices in the description below. I will add all the prices in of all the pieces. So if you're interested in anything, you can see the prices there. And um, because that gives me a few minutes to, a little while to um, figure out what uh, everything is if I don't know the brands and stuff, so. All right, this is a cute little necklace, but it does have, Somewhere up here, I guess it's not too bad. There's a little bit of wear on the neckline, but it's a pretty little, sorry, just checking to make sure all, everything looks good here. I think it's okay. No. It's got a few little places where I think it just needs to be fixed. Yeah, I would just do like maybe four dollars on that one. Oh, you know what? Let me 
me see here. Is there a, yeah. I don't know. You know what? I think we're just going to scrap this one. If somebody wants it, it's a dollar, but it's going to be in the scrap pile. Alrighty, let's do let's do these other pretty beads that we're out here. I love the colors on this one. Pretty clasp. Well not the cla not the lobster clasp, but these are really pretty. Little detail on them. This is just a gold tone necklace. I don't see any maker's marks or anything on it, but it is pretty, pretty colors for spring and summer. I love the colors turquoise and lime green and these coral beads that look like coral. They look like real coral now. They might not be, but they're really pretty. See that I made to look like it if they're not. They're heavy. I wonder if they're like a bone made to look like coral. I'm not really sure there on that, but they are really pretty. So this is a great necklace for, uh, like I said, spring and summer. It's in great shape. So I would do seven on that one. I want to know the length. Let's see. going to be so it's about a 20 inch necklace so seven on that one really heavy oh not heavy but a really nice weight to it let's see what else do we have here we got some boxes, we got some more pearls. Let's put the box over here and wait on it for that. And we'll look at these pearls again really quick. Wow, look at these. Is this okay, this is more than one strand here. Alright, so these are just two little separate strands. This is one just little strand. These are not real pearls, they're just little, looks like maybe a little vintage uh, strand of small pearls. I would do just like $3 on that. It's a cute little strand of pearls. This is just beads pearl beads, I think, and there's no clasp or anything on this. I'm going to put this in craft. All right. Oh, look at this. JC Crystal. JC Crystal. Wow. This is really nice. In really great condition. Let's see if I can get it off here. It's very heavy. Back mist, metal bezel, Japan movement, stainless steel. Wow. It's really pretty though. I actually really kind of like this. If you're going out or if you want to watch on when you're um, out and dressed up, this is really pretty. Um, I don't know JC Crystal. I don't know uh, the brand, so let me look that up. And like I said, the price will be down below in the description. All right, this is a long strand of these big pearl beads. Sorry, I'm kind of freaking out about anything on my. Uh, workspace right now. Um, so this is just a long, long strand. So this is, you're going to double or triple this strand of these beads. Uh, I don't see any clasp. So I don't see any kind of maker's 
mark or designer's hang tag on here. This is all in really nice condition. Just a gold tone. Um, but the beads are all in good condition. Everything's good. So I would do, uh, I think I would do like uh, $10 for that one. All right, what is in the box? The pretty little glittery box. Simulated diamond tree of life made in China in 1998. Ooh, okay. It's $20 little, it's cute. Cute. Fine silver plated simulated diamond. I love all the colors in it though. It's a really cute little piece. Just little fashion silver plated piece, but really pretty. Love the colors. So I would do probably eight dollars for that one. All right, what else do we have? This is so much fun. Paparazzi. Is it like paparazzi? Is it aren't they the one that's like five dollars for any piece or something like that. Is that paparazzi? Mother of pearl white bracelet with the pearl coming off. You know, I can easily be glued back on, but you're not going to sell that for much. I think I would put these all in a, whoops, all in a um, bundle. Cute little earrings, but I mean, this is Sorry for anybody that sells this, but it's not very well made, but I get it. Five dollars each, whatever. I totally get it. You're just looking for a little affordable piece, so. Let's see what else we have in here. These are all paparazzi. This is a long chain. That's cute. That's a cute little piece. I do like that. Very cute. Flying lessons yellow necklace. That's pretty. more of those big long beads like the other one uh, this has uh, this has little pearls up um, earrings and then pretty pearls and circles and then it's got tassels on the end I can take this out I want to see it Sorry for the cell phone rattling, guys. Come on. Come out of there. Alright, let's look at this. Okay. Alright, so these tassel y things, actually, they're not tassels. It's the end of this uh, necklace. So it's just a really long necklace. It's a pretty necklace. I actually really like it. I like the look of it. So it's, and it's long. It is, let's see. Yeah, it's going to be like a 38 inch. That's a long necklace, but really pretty. Double, um, double chains up here. Um, these circles and big pearl beads, more pearls, and then it looks like tassels, but it actually goes into the bottom of the necklace. Very pretty. So I gotta look these up because I believe paparazzi, I thought it was like $5 each, but 
that's five dollars that's a pretty good deal i have to say um all right so i'm going to check into these and then i will uh leave the price below uh, Mix it. So this is one of these. I'm so glad they put this in a envelope because these get so tangled up when they're in with all the rest of the jewelry. This is one of those like illusion necklaces. I think that's what they're called. I love the look of them on, but I. I think this would be such a pain to put this in my jewelry box. You know what I mean? Oh, this is two different necklaces here. Okay. So, you'd have to hang this somewhere so it wouldn't get mixed up with everything else. This is really pretty though. This has some little earrings to go with it. These are little glass or ceramic beads and um, little like glass discs. Just a gold or a silver tone and I think these are all glass or ceramic one of the other these are glass I think they're all glass beads really pretty colors all the blues and blue greens very pretty I have no idea about this $24 mix it sets from JCPenney okay so $24 retail. This is new with tags. I would do uh, $12 on this little set. Very cute. And I gotta find a place to put it where it won't get mixed up with everything. Alright. A few little gold things in here. Let's see what we got. Alright. This is just a little plastic, stretchy bracelet. New with tags, Dreamer Studios, Remarkable Jewelry. Like I said, this is, it's just plastic. Um, I mean, the, the elastic's still really good on it. That's not an issue, so, you know, I would do two dollars if somebody wants that. Let's see. This is cute. It's by the same Dreamer's Studios. This is just a little gold uh, tone chain bracelet. It's like a mesh almost. Let's see if I can get this to work. It's a really pretty bracelet. It feels good on. It's a little bit too tight for me, but I have definitely have a larger wrist. Mine's like seven and a half, so. This would fit most wrists, an average wrist of like six and a half. This would fit easily. It's really pretty. It feels really nice on. I love the feel of it. In great condition, I would do probably five for that one. Come on, baby. Come on. All right, I'm not going to worry about it. This is just a seed bead in like a leopard pattern. This looks handmade to me, but super cute in that pattern. What fun is that? Great condition. My guess is this would fit, again, an average wrist really well, like a six and a half. That is really cute. That's a lot of work that went into that. Um, I would say $5 for that one. I'm trying not to sneeze right now. Oh, this is pretty. Now, this is really pretty. These crystals are made to look like a Labradorite. I don't think it is Labradorite. Mm, I could be wrong because that looks like, I think it is Labradorite now that I look at it again. I think these are Labradorite because you can see when I pull this, you can see how flat that is and that it's an actual stone. It's not a crystal. Look at the flashing. Those Those are super pretty. Really pretty. This is just a gold tone. 
I'm sure. These are pretty little, they look like big like Baroque pearls, but see how they're all, my guess is those are. Wow, this is really pretty. It, the stretch is coming out, so it needs to be redone, which I can easily do since I make jewelry, but that is so pretty. Um, and the Labradorite, Labradorite on that, if that's real, and I'm going to take a look at this a little better, that, that may be just like a finish on the outside to make it look so nice, but, um, Wow, that's really pretty, I think. Very pretty. I guess I should put it on for you. With the little tassel here. And, and like I said, I have a bigger wrist, so it's going to look bigger on me. It would fit a six and a half well without the gap. Very pretty. Um, I think I would do like ten on that one. And this is just a little beads. Uh, they look like ceramic beads here with a little rhinestone ball. It looks like it has all its rhinestones. That's a cute little bracelet too. That's still got some good stretch in it. I would do, oh, maybe not. Maybe it needs to be restrung too, which I can do on both of these. Um, I would do Probably just five dollars on that one. Let's see what we have here. Oh my goodness, this looks like a bunch of those illusion necklaces. Yikes. Okay. Let's see what we got. Try to take these out carefully. What the heck is this in the middle of it? These are earrings in the middle of all these necklaces. I'll bet they just couldn't get them out and they just said, forget it. Oh my gosh. Those are cute. Little, uh, sorry, I'm just trying to see if they're sterling. I don't think so with this. We can test them in a minute. My guess is no, but I'll test them in a minute after we get through these. All right, let's see. First one here. Just little black beads, not in the greatest shape. I think this is gonna go into craft. Let's take this off here. So I can see if I can get one at a time out of here. Not making a big fat mess out of it, come on. Let me have this. I'm gonna undo all of these. Hopefully that won't make it worse, but gosh. Hope everybody likes these illusion necklaces because they seem to have a bunch of them. Alright. Can I get one? Whoop, here we go. Come on. Get off there. All right, one down. This one, this looks like pieces of shell. The, um, the metal on this does not look good and it's just discolored and not pretty, so we're going to go ahead and put this one into craft. Let's see. Let's 
Let's look at this one. These are all just little. These need to be washed up for sure. These are just little crafty plastic beads and spacer beads. So these are going to go into craft. And we've got a bonus here. This is a little pink one. Yeah, I wonder if these are all, I don't know, these are just like little crimp beads here and little plastic beads. It's going to go craft. I mean, maybe I could do what they did and put these all in a bundle and somebody would want them, but if anybody wants them all, they can let me know and I'll see what I can do for you. But otherwise, I think these are all going to go into craft. Come on, baby. This is mostly white little crystals. These are glass beads. But still, just... Uh, this is a little nicer wire, I think. You know, if, if somebody wants that, that could be cleaned up a little better. This is a prettier one, I think. Um, a little bit nicer, not just plastic beads. So if somebody wants that, I would do like $4. Clean it up for you. And then this is uh, more of a this is a dark, more almost a gunmetal. And, um, but again, these are just plastic beads. The, these are glass. The rest of these are just plastic little beads. I mean, it's pretty. If somebody wants it, I would do $3. Okay. Looks like we have another watch here. This is an Anne Klein. Pretty. It's got a little bit of wear in between. A little, little bit of wear on the... Yeah, this has definitely been worn. Pretty incline, stainless steel back, Japan movement quartz. Has definitely has some wear on it. It's not perfect, but I'd have to see how it cleaned up. Pretty watch, nice heavy watch. Definitely a good weight to it. A little bit too small for me, so again, it's going to be like about a six and a half, probably that this is going to fit. Looks like all the rhinestones are still in there. So those are all good. It's just got a little bit of wear on it on the inside from where you, you know, wear most watches right there from putting your arm down. But this is really pretty. And I don't have a price on that until I kind of look it up a little bit. And also probably need to change the battery and make sure it works. Okay, what else do we have? I love all these little bags. Alright, these look like earrings. And some hair. One by one here, some little, no, these aren't little, some big rhinestone rose gold earrings. And it looks like all the rhinestones are in there incredibly. Pretty, shiny, nice big 
little statement earrings. I don't know if there's any maker on here. Two different kinds of bags. I can fix that. No maker. So I would do, those are in good shape, pretty. I would do $5 for those. All right, these are just some little, look like something from the 80s or 90s to me, but I don't know that. Just have that look. Little red posts. Here's some little blue posts. These are super lightweight. And, you know, I would just do a couple dollars on each of these other earrings that are in here. So those, there's some little pearls, not real. There's some little, got some verdigris in them, I think. Yeah, these need to be cleaned badly, and I don't think I would even sell those till I could see if I could clean them. These are just little yellow roses or flowers. Little leaves that have too much wear. Those are going to go on craft. And these are just like little stones. Maybe jasper. Maybe agate. I'm not sure. I'd have to look at them better. And these are just some little copper ones supposed to look like a leaf. These look like they might be vintage. I gotta look these up because of the back on them. I'll take a look at these. And I'll let you know on those. Okay. Another watch. I wish I knew more about watches than I do. This is really pretty. Wow. Really pretty. Genuine leather. Stainless steel, water resistant, North Sport watch. This looks like it's new. It's still got the thing on the back, the plastic on the back. I have no idea if this is worth anything, but boy, it's really pretty. Look at that. Wow. Very nice. I would, um, who knows what all these things are. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to, um, look this up and I'll let you know in the description. Well, let's see what else we got here. Hmm. Interesting. All kinds of stuff on this. Fashion jewelry made in China. Newer tags. I actually kind of like this. It's different. Alright, so first we've just got this chain. It's all in good condition. And then these interesting glass beads with like the rose gold and gold inside there. Very pretty. Then some more little interesting things on here. Uh oh, it's broken. Is it broken? Hmm. What is going on? What do you think here? Okay, so there's three deals. This looks like it's missing something. So these both have chains on them, right? Yep. This one also is, I guess I could just take this off. It may have had another chain on it, but I think if you just take it off, it's fine. Like this. These are like just little metal 
think they're hollow because they're super light. Um, and then different colored chains, different chains. These are little glass beads in kind of a olive green and black. It's really kind of a pretty piece. I would just take that third uh, little link off on both of those and it would be fine. And it's really cute. Chunky piece. Long. It's probably another one of those super long ones. Let's see. This one's going to be a 36 inches. So a nice long piece. It'd be really pretty on a sweater. Very nice. Um, I would do six for this. And then it came with, okay, well this is interesting, isn't it? That's really cute. It's got a little 3D lizard on it. And these really neat rhinestone, Ooh, that one looks like it's going to come out, but I can fix it and plop it over. Just a little fashion piece. These rhinestones are maybe glass but how cute is this i i love this little lizard he is so darn cute and he sits up and these little guys dangle i i think this is super cute unfortunately i don't think oh i might be able to get onto that second one too yeah i could i mean i could wear it um, so it has two here, so it'll fit a bigger wrist and a, and a regular size wrist. So I think that I could probably get this on me. Yes, I could definitely. So my wrist is seven and a half. So if you have a little bit bigger wrist, it will fit you or an average size wrist. So this is really cute. And I'm going to say, I know it's just a little fashion piece, but it's so darn cute. I am going to say... Ten dollars for this. Okay. I think I put this over here earlier and then didn't uh, look at it. So it says Santorini on here, but there's no clasp. So somebody tell me what this is for. I mean, I would say, okay, so do you hang it on your rear view mirror? What is this for exactly? This is not big enough for a necklace. It's not little enough for an anklet. So somebody tell me what you do with it, please. It's cute. It would be cute to, like I said, I, first thing I thought was hang it on your rear view mirror. It says Santorini on it. And then it has some little dolphins. So it's a cute little piece. I'd do three dollars. All right, did I stick anything else over there? I don't think so. Let's see what we've got here. These look like more of that same bracelet that uh yeah they are they're more of that same bracelet that i other already had the mesh one and i don't remember whatever i said i would sell that for these are would be the same and i have several looks like that one not gonna sell that one the color is off on it Yeah, several of these colors off on these. And they feel different. That's kind of weird. Yeah, color is way off on these. So I'm not selling any of these. This one's okay. So I have two of those that I would sell. The rest, no. And 
this is the last box. Saved it to the last. Juicy Couture. Born in the glamorous USA. This is a cute box. I hope so good. That's cute. Cute little locket. Wow. That is really cute. I've never gotten a Juicy Couture before. I love the way this attaches with the little safety pin here. It's kind of made to look like a watch fob, I would say. Has the little rhinestones here. Two little hang tags here and here. really cute. Open up for me, baby. Oh, come on. Who you gotta know, huh? Oh, don't do this to me. Let's see, what do I have to open this up without making a mark on it? You can tell it's a little bit worn on here, but, but it is still really cute. Now I just need to get into it. Ah, ah there we go. Love GNP. That is really cute, and I have no idea of the price till I look this up. But that's a good piece to finish on. It looks to be in pretty good shape. Obviously, this is a little bit scratched, a little bit, um, it's not really scratched, but rubbed on. You know, you can tell it was worn a little bit. It's not so shiny anymore. But the color is still good on everything. So this is just a really cute piece. Okay. Um, let me get a little bit better. And I will put a price on this one in the description when I uh, figure that out. All right. Okay, so the original price was $98. Suggested retail. All right. Well, that's an awesome one to stop on. I appreciate you guys um, coming to watch my video again today. And um, if you see anything you like, uh, let me know in the comments below. I would love it if you would leave a comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. I really appreciate all your support and I hope you enjoyed this. We'll be having a lot more of these. Like I said, I've got a lot of uh, Shop Goodwill boxes and two more thread up. 15 piece boxes to to come um you can find me uh freckled heart on instagram on ebay and on etsy and i appreciate it uh, we're going to be having my daughter and i are going to be having a giveaway probably in the next uh video and um so be sure and sign up and watch for that thank you so much guys have a great night